The SD Teacher Training and Vocational Institute has held its first ever graduation at a ceremony of Shetadova by the Lands Minister Judith Nabakova. Success of our daughters and sons. The over 100 students bagged certificates and diplomas in various disciplines, more so in nursery teaching, fashion, and designing. Over the years, we have actually realized that graduates from such institutes are far much better than those from the mainstream. This is because the training and teaching in vocational institutes, like those, uh, the training which is given to the learners is very practical. With many referring to graduation as a mileage achievement and others hoping for white collar jobs, depending on their qualifications. However, the story beyond this has left many just hoping. We are saying, can we vocationalize the training of teachers so that the teacher exists, exists or graduates with this content knowledge, with this technology knowledge, with uh, this subject matter knowledge, but also exist, uh, graduates with this vocational skills knowledge. The institutions are many, they churn out so many graduates, but absorption capacity within the economy is very, very narrow. So that's a challenge we need to address. And that's the reason we are emphasizing uh, creativity on the part of the individuals who have graduated. Therefore, it has been underlined that the only determined, disciplined and professionals will dine from their academic excellence. I'm sending a message for our graduates to always go, make decisions, decide what they want to be in life, because everything that someone has to turn in life is from what you decided from the very beginning. For the graduates, I want to remind you that you are coming out at a time when our country is embarking on a serious development approach. Government has introduced the parish development model as a strategy that will enable the country to transform from a peasant to a middle income status. The role of teachers is very key in the transformation of our society. Parents and guardians acknowledge the need for vocational skilling as it is the only window which can help the youth access employment. Robert Nyango, UBC News. <laughs>